Now a 7 News alert. In just the past 90 minutes, the judge selecting the week that Nathan Dunlap will be executed for killing four people inside an Aurora Chuck E. Cheese restaurant 20 years ago. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen in the courtroom for that decision. Jacqueline? Yeah, and just about 90 minutes ago, a judge set the execution week for Nathan Dunlap. It's August 18th through 24th, and the head of the DOC will set the actual date. That is the first execution in Colorado in 17 years, and victims' family members tell me that they are cautiously optimistic that their idea of justice will finally be served. We will see what happens because... We've had so many hearings and delays and so forth, so we'll see what happens. But it's nice to have a date to either, at least work with. Marge Crowell and Bob Crowell's 19-year-old daughter Sylvia was one of the four people killed by Nathan Dunlap in the 1993 Chuck E. Cheese shootings. Dunlap appeared in court today with long braids, and the judge did allow him to have one hand out of handcuffs so he could take notes during the hearing. The defense argued in court today that Dunlap's execution because he should serve his full sentence for a previous robbery at a Burger King. They also said they should be allowed to finish appeals in his civil trial and that they want documents about election protocol. The judge denied all of those requests and the defense say this is not justice. We represent a very remorseful client and it's a tragedy that this thing is moving forward. We respectfully disagree with the court setting an execution date today. Uh, we, believe, we believe there are many compelling reasons why that should not have happened. And the judge is going to give the defense a chance to argue about the constitutionality of the death penalty in this case in June before the execution. And the defense says they will be asking the governor to commute Dunlap's sentence. Now, when I spoke to family members and the prosecution, they said that would be a grave miscarriage of justice. They've waited for this execution now for more than 19 years. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.